name is Adirun Kelly Banjo. If you've met before, I'm the principal instructor of Ibadan City Fashion College, the CEO of um, DGV Styles, and um, another ready to wear label called Alto W by DGV Styles, or otherwise called Dressfulness Nigeria. I'm a fashion teacher by profession and I'm a fashion designer, unisex fashion designer. So, what exactly are we talking about today? Today, we're talking about choosing your business name. I've had this topic in my mind for a couple of weeks and during this week and last week, um, I just discovered I started coming across some names that were sounding funny in my ears and turning funny to me like, okay, why would you name your business this and why would you name your business that? Let me drive this home first. Your name is important. The name you call your business is extremely important. Why? Because it represents your brand. That's what people will know you by. They call you that name and it can go farther than you're thinking right now. Probably you think, oh, I'm just a starter. Let me just use this name. Okay, on the other hand, it's fine to keep on changing your name as time progresses. You can, but it's not always advisable, especially if the name um, happens to move faster than you envisaged and just suddenly became a brand name. For example, my name, DGV Styles, wasn't the name I really wanted to use very funny but that name just became a brand that and i found it very difficult to change and fine it's working because the combination actually was very okay then i still like it anyway and if i want to do any other thing i probably just do another brand with another name or just leave the name dgv styles like that although people mispronounce it dgv vdg ddd whatever but at least it is okay so okay anywhere i go now with your business name don't just choose any name I've seen that, I've heard that, and I keep hearing that. We mostly tell our students at the Bono City Fashion College that the moment you're starting your business, get a journal, get a jotter, write ideas of different names that come to your mind. There'll be many, write them down, read, read and listen, listen to how it sounds, listen to how it will be pronounced or the likely names people are going to call you. Like for example, if I go outside Nigeria, they say Ronki, okay, that's cool. The E, they call it, they pronounce it as Y, my own, pronunciation and that's still fine by me wrongly okay or wrong or whatever now by the time you know craft your name in a way that is very difficult to spell and pronounce you're causing yourself a lot of more harm than good one could be when they're searching for you they're searching for something different because your your name is shadi and you spell shadi as s-h-a-r r shouldn't be in shadi because you know you're most likely not going to say shardi and by the time you're talking to someone who is um, even a Nigerian or anywhere and you say Shade, they go online, they just see different Shade and they don't know who to talk to or who. But say Shade, they will, they will spell S A D E or S H A D E, shade. In, in fact, it's, I, I think it's easier to say Shade spelled as shade. But that's just an example, by the way. Now, what, back to your business name. If you're using your name as your business name, be careful how you rearrange it because I've, I, I, lots of people now funkify their business names or so let me just put they use different R, different Y, different Z and a lot of alphabets inside the mix that could end up confusing your potential clients and that could make your visibility low because they're searching and they cannot find you. I met someone recently and when he gave me his um, Instagram handle I found it very very difficult, pretty difficult to locate him. Because I think it has, I, I, I don't want to say because a person would, could hear me. So when you're choosing your business, your business name, don't just pick any name. If you're matching names together, because we are used to um, matching our kids, married people, putting our kids' names together. You can put your kids' name in a very, very funky way. It doesn't have to be putting the two, 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 two in the names and having, let's say you have a bad Sunday, which is B-A, you have T-T-T-I, you have Tola, T-O, then you have Olu, O-L, Bati, Tol. Bati, Tol sounds like, um, okay, let's listen to that now. Bati, Tol is a very good name. It sounds good for a construction site. It sounds good for someone selling um, construction materials in my ears, Bati, Tol. It sounds good for disinfectant. It sounds good for hand sanitizer. Now, but it all designs sounds and on a scale of one to ten, I'll give it a five. That means I'm indifferent. But it's all constructions. Eight to ten. But it's all foods. I don't know how that sounds. It could work because food, anything goes with foods. 
So look at the name you're choosing, compare it with your industry, your field. I've, I like when I hear Ewa, I think naturally the first thing that comes to my mind is that's a beauty salon or someone that makes hair, makeup, and blah blah blah, fashion, beauty. So when you now say Ewa, let's say you're putting Ewa as Ewa Foods. Uh, you see, you're listening, Abby. It doesn't sound so good. Fine. I don't have to say much about that. Listen to your name. How do you choose your business name? You can choose your own name. Your name can be your business name. If the name is not too taken by so many people, research, Google business names. The phone is there to help you. Go on Instagram, look for the names. If I use Adirong Care, there's so many Adirong Cares there. So if I want to make Adirong Care a brand, I probably have to do a lot of more work, visibility efforts to make the name stand for me. Use your phone name. Your nicknames can work. Um, Ronnie, Ron, but that's a lot of Ronnies out there, a lot of Rons out there, a lot of shades out there, a lot of talls out there, out there, a lot of toys down out there. Anyhow, just be sure you are not picking a name that will be difficult to find. Remember, you can find your name. There are so many sites um, online. I there I use name links a lot to to teach people. You can just Google business name generator. You have, you have a lot of sites, a whole lot of sites. They ask you to type in your keywords, fashion, beauty, school. Type in your keywords. Look at the names you have. Some of, the, some of those names you cannot use because they are registered. They are, you, they'll pay for them. But at least it will give you an idea of what to call your own business. There's so many names out there. There are Italian names in your field. Um, so many names of different languages that you can use and adapt because if you're going far you should be careful what you call yourself or what you call your business now let's talk about some four questions that you should ask yourself number one is does the name represent what you do like i mentioned earlier if this name doesn't represent what you're doing please drop it it has to be something close to what you're doing it has to be something related to your to your craft i mean if you're talking about beauty let the name let, let it reflect beauty. If you're talking about clothes, it reflects clothes. If it doesn't, like I said, Ewa Food. Ewa Food doesn't sound too good. Ewa could be the name of the owner of the food company, but doesn't really sound too good. So choose a name. Does it sound well? If I take my brand outside my locality, outside where I am right now, can this name sell? That's very key. Your business can blow, like blow is like become big at any point in time. How will the name sound by the time you get out there? Now, will, will this name help you develop your business in line with your vision? If your vision is big, then don't start with a small name. If you're aiming high, you have goals, it depends on what you're thinking about, will this name help you? Think about that. Now, does it appeal to your customers, appeal to their ears when they call your name? There's some names that you really want to call. They're so sweet to the ears, so sweet to call, sweet to he listen to something. Will it suit your customers? Will they want to? There are some places that I don't want to mention. I'm not doing adverts for anybody, but you don't you want to go to those stores because it sounds really sush. So does the name appeal to your customers, or will the name appeal to your customers? Giving them a difficult name to pronounce is a problem, and that happens a lot, which I keep seeing, especially with startup business owners. And what happens is you just pick a name randomly and you start using it. Before you know what is happening. You're too busy developing your business that you forget to change the name or to modify it or it gets to a point where it becomes too difficult to modify let's go then, then the other thing is how does it sound does it touch and probably a part of the emotions is that a way the name rings a bell in the ears and they're like oh that's a cool name to bear you know whatever this is i don't want it to be too long i'll probably come back with another time with a full video but remember the name you use for your business either only for your as a business name or social media handle it matters a lot do not make the name difficult to spell difficult to pronounce so that you don't share your customers with other people while they are looking for you they are busy locating other people or a name that when they call or to pronounce it doesn't really align with what you're doing doesn't portray you well Remember, the future is what matters. The end goal is what matters. How far are you looking at your business? How far do you want it to go? How far do you think it will go? Look at this. And by the time you're choosing your business, and if you have to go back to your, to your drawing board to edit, please do some editing. And while at that, consider the facts or the tips I've given today. I'll be back with more tips some other time. My name remains Ateronke Olubanja. Can you follow me on my social media handles? And I'll be glad to follow you back. Thank you and see you later.